right and welcome to substitution um, just before we get started just a reminder that there is a notes jotter available for this video just check the description below for a download link and you can work along with me as we go through the video so in each case uh, today what we're going to look at is uh, substitution and substitution simply means to replace a letter with a number um, so in this question we are told that if a equals 3 b equals 2 c equals 5 find the value of each expression and so what we need to do is we need to abide by our rules of bid mass and follow the correct order of operations but replacing each of the letters with the value associated with them um, and so if we have a look at the first question a equals 3 and so all I'm going to do is replace the letter a with the number 3 the plus is still exactly as it was and the b I'm going to replace with 2 and so this expression becomes 3 plus 2 which is quite simply 5. In question 2, we've got 4c. Now, we just need to remind ourselves of what this actually means. Um, in terms of algebra, if we have ever have a number in front of a letter, it means we have a multiplication. We have 4 lots of c. And so this is 4 times whatever c is. Well, c was 5, so 4 times 5. And so we have 20. Then in question 3, we have 2b take away c. Now, we've got to remember about bid mass here, what order of operations come first. So in this case, the 2b has to happen first because multiplication comes before subtraction. And so that is 2 times whatever b is. Well, b is 2, take away c, which is 5, keeping everything in the same position. So we have 2 times 2, which is 4, take away 5. Well, that is actually negative 1. And then in number four, this time we actually have some brackets involved. So, of course, with bid mass, they will have to come first. So the first thing that we need to think about here is completing the bracket first, B plus C, 2 plus 5. And so if we do the bracket, that is 2 plus 5, which is 7, and that says 3 brackets 7. The last thing here to note is what that actually means. If we have a number in front of a bracket, it means we need to multiply. So it's going to be 3 times 7 and so it's going to be 21. Question 5 we've now got indices because we have a squared and so we just need to fill in all of the values from our original uh, original question so that's going to be 3 squared take away 2 and we need to remember our bin mass again so the uh, indices must come first 3 squared so 3 squared is 9 take away 2 and 9 take away 2 is 7. Question 6, we've got a combination here of multiplication and um, indices. We need to remember here that this will mean 2 times c squared, which is 2 times 5 squared. And we have to remind ourselves that in bid mass, the indices always come first. So we're going to have to do the 5 squared. So 2 times 5 squared, well that's 25. 2 times 25 is 50. In number seven, we're bringing together brackets and indices. So again, we just want to replace each of the letters with the numbers associated with them. And brackets must come first. So this is, we'll come to two brackets. Five take away three is two, and then that's squared. And we have to make sure, again, bid mass tells us that the indices needs to be next. So 2 squared will be the next piece to complete. So that's 2 times 2 squared, which is 4. And 2 times 4 is 8. And finally, we've got quite a lot of different elements here. We have 3 times a, which is 3, plus, in the brackets, 2 plus 5. And then that is squared. And so based on bid mass, that's going to tell us we need to, first of all, complete the brackets. So 3 times 3 plus 2 plus 5 is 7 squared. And then bid mass tells us that the indices need to come next. So it's still 3 times 3 plus 49. And then we're told that multiplication so 9 plus 49 and we can finish 
at that point 9 plus 49 is 58. So in our next uh, set of examples we're just going to see what effect having negative uh, values has on our working out. So in this case A is 3, B is negative 2 and C is negative 1. Let's see what that does to our working out. Um, so in A plus B, again I'm just going to replace A with its value which is 3, the plus remains as it was and I'm going to replace B with its value which in this case is negative 2. And so here we just need to be careful of what our um, what our rules are when adding uh, with negative numbers. If I add a negative value, that is exactly the same as just subtracting. So 3 take away 2, which is 1. In number 2, we are asked for 4c. So a reminder that that means it's a multiplication. 4 times whatever c is. And c is negative 1. So 4 times negative 1. Well, if I multiply a positive number by a negative, I get a negative, and 1 times 4 is 4. In part 3, we have 2b, which means we have 2 multiplied by negative 2, and then we're going to subtract whatever c is. Well, c is negative 1. And so, bid mass tells us that we need to first have a look at 2 times negative 2. Well, that's going to be negative 4. But then the second piece to this tells me that I've got su uh, subtract a negative number. That means I'm going to add. And so I've got negative 4 plus 1. And if I answer that, negative 4 plus 1, I'll start with negative 4 and add 1 on, negative 3. In question 4, we have a squared take away b. Well, a is 3, so 3 squared take away and b is negative 2. So first things first we need to deal with our indices 3 squared is 9 and then if I'm going to subtract a negative that's a plus so it's 9 plus 2 which will give me 11. 2c squared remembering with bid mass that means we're doing 2 multiplied by c squared now in this case, C is a negative value. So I'm just going to pop that in a little bracket. Um, negative 1 squared. And there is a very good reason for that. Um, if you are ever multiplying with negative numbers, especially squaring negative numbers, we've got to be very careful because this is negative 1 times by itself. Negative 1 times by itself will be a negative times a negative. It would give us a positive. So 1 times 1 is 1. So I'm actually looking at 2 times 1, which is 2. If we go into question 6, we've got 3a, so that's going to be 3 times 3. Then we've got our brackets, b plus c. Well, that is negative 2 plus negative 1, and it is being squared. So the brackets are the first element that need to be completed. So we've got 3 times 3 plus, in this case, negative 2 plus negative 1, well that is negative 3, and that is being squared. Now again, the indices are going to be important here. Negative 3 squared means negative 3 times negative 3, and so that is actually a positive 9. And we've got 3 times 3 plus positive 9. 3 times 3 is obviously 9, and plus a plus, that is just the same as adding. So we have 9 plus 9. I have a final answer of 18. And so in our final set of examples, um, we have A equals negative 4, B equals negative 1, and C equals 0 0.5. But very importantly here, I'm asking you to use a calculator to find the value of each expression because often you're going to see these on calculator questions or you're going to need to substitute at some point in a calculator question and so it's very uh, very good idea to know how to do that nice and efficiently nice and effectively and so in this case the bis uh, biggest piece of advice I'm going to give you is that anywhere where you see a letter I just want you to put a little bracket 
and the brackets go around the letter so that no matter what the value is you've been given for each of those letters, you can just pop it straight inside of the bracket and you're guaranteed to get the correct answer when you put it in your calculator. And so here, A is negative four. So I'm just gonna pop that inside of a bracket with a squared. And I'm going to add two. And the B is negative one. And the C, well that is 0 0.5. And the reason I've done that is because if I grab a scientific calculator, I can type that in exactly. I can say brackets negative four squared plus two brackets negative one close bracket take away brackets 0 0.5. And because I've typed it in exactly as it is in the equation, well, I get an answer straight out of 27 over two. And let's just get that as a decimal. We can call that 13.5. With five B squared take away A. Again, if I just put brackets wherever there is a letter, I'm going to guarantee that my calculator will work correctly with any negative values. So in this case, five brackets B, which is negative one squared, take away two brackets, negative four, bring my calculator back in, add five brackets, negative one, close the bracket, squared, take away two brackets, negative four, close my bracket, and there we go, we've got our answer straight out, we've got 13. A squared plus 2A plus B. Again, same thing. Keep putting those brackets around the letters in the expression so that it can tell you exactly what you need to do on your calculator. And so that one has come out straight away at seven. Okay, so for question four, exactly the same. Just make sure we are placing our brackets around each of the values, so around the A and around the B, just to confirm that we definitely uh, type the right thing into our calculator. So we're going to have square root brackets, and then the bracket that we have added for A, which is negative four, and then that is being squared, and we're taking away nine lots of b, which is negative one, and we're taking the square root of all of this, and we need to finish off with our final bracket. If we pop that into our calculator, we want square root, bracket, bracket, negative four, close bracket squared, take away nine, bracket, negative one, bracket, bracket. And we press equals, we get a nice answer of 5. 2b cubed, exactly the same. All I want to do is put a bracket around where the b is. So that's going to be 2 brackets, negative 1 cubed. Type that into the calculator. Let's see what we get. Well, we do 2 brackets, negative 1 to the power of 3. Press equals we get negative two. And the reason for that, negative one cubed, negative one times negative one times negative one is just negative one. And finally, question six, we've got three brackets A, which is negative four, plus, and then again, in our brackets, we want a additional bracket for our value for B, an additional bracket for our value for C, and close that and put our power of two and let's see what we get we have three brackets negative four close the bracket plus bracket bracket negative one close your bracket plus 0 0.5 close your bracket close the big bracket squared and equals and that comes out at negative 47 over 4 which is negative 
And finally, we come to our exam question. It was from the Edexcel paper in June 2018. And it was foundation paper one. Now, just to note there, with it being paper one, that means this is a non-calculator question. So we're just gonna to have to do this one um, ourselves. Um, but all we need to do is we are trying to work out the value of P. P is 4X plus 3Y, um, X is 5 and Y is negative 2. So all we need to do is the same as what we were thinking about before, replacing our letter X with the number we've been given, which is 5, and replacing the letter Y with the number we've been given, in this case negative 2. And all we need to do is take each of those pieces at a time, 4 times 5, well that is going to be 20, the plus is still there, then the 3 times the negative 2, well that's negative 6, and then all we need to do is remember our rules about adding with negative values, well that is exactly the same as just subtracting, so I've got 20 take away 6, and so in this case P would have a value of 14.